Hello friends, Fedabot here. Today I'm going to teach you how to sign up for Shepherd's Crossing Online. Uh, the Japanese title is Rakuen Sei Katsuhitsuji Mura Daichi no Megumi to Boken no Umi. Um, yeah, so <laughs> if you want to play this game, it's Japanese only. Um, but you, if you're the kind of person who likes to kind of uh, play Japanese games, even if you don't know Japanese, I'm going to teach you how to sign up uh, on the website. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go to the website. This is the URL here. It's rakuen hitsujijp slash officials, officials. It's like official site. Um, I'll put that link in the description too. Um, and you'll go to this homepage. And then this button right here, the one that's shaking with the carrots and stuff, this is the user registration button. Um, this is the login button. If you click that, um, there will be a link to this here too, but you want to click this one. And then you'll go to this, the user registration page, and it will want you to enter an email address. So type an email address that you want to use and then click this button with this chicken guy on it. Then it will tell you that it's sent um, a confirmation email to your email address. So you'll need to log into your email account and then find the email sent from Daku and Seikatsu Ichijimura and then look for this thing that says this right here. It'll say URL by it. It'll be kind of a long URL and then you want to click that and that will take you to the confirmation page. Um, now you've confirmed your email address. Um, this is the uh, user agreement and stuff like that. You can just uh, scroll through these since you can't read it anyway. And then click this button to say that you um, agree with it. And then click this button to register. Now you're taken to the sign up page. And um, the first thing here is going to be your user ID. This is what you're going to use to sign into the site with. And um, it's not going to be visible to other players, so you can put whatever you want. I'll put, um, it has to be at least eight characters. So I'm going to put Metapod um, channel. And then make up a password for the second box. And then the third box is repeat your password, so type it again. Then this fourth box here is your nickname. This will be your name in the game. Um, <laughs> those are my two names I signed up with before. And this can be Japanese. So I'm going to make it say Metapod. But kind of spelled out in Japanese. Not Metapod's Japanese name. I kind of just spelled it out. Um, and so this is how you will be known in the game. And other players will see this name. Um, when they interact with you. And then the next thing is your sex. The left one is male and the right one is female. You can pick whatever you want. It won't affect the um, gender of your character. Um, then this is your birthday. The first thing is the year and then the month and then the day. So I'll put in my actual birthday. <laughs> I made three accounts. They're probably going to like ban me or something. <laughs> And then this is your profile avatar. Um, you can pick whatever you want it to be. Um, in the game, there will be a friends list, and this will show up as your little icon um, under your name. And uh, people can use this to um, click on and go to your page. I'm going to click this little chick because it's cute. And then um, this uh, continue to the next page. You want to click that once you've filled everything out. Then it will um, ask you to confirm everything. So check and make sure everything looks right. Um, if you have this kind of thing with a like a windowy looking box at the top, that means mail. If it's uh, more just like a little thing like that, I don't, I'm trying to draw it with the mouse. Um, if it's not this, then that means you picked female. The rest you can kind of check and make sure is OK. Uh, this, I guess you can't really check because it just shows dots. And then um, if everything is right, then click the left button. This is the continue button. This is the go back to the last, to the entry page button. So click the left button to continue. And then it will show you all your stuff again and to show you that it's uh, been finalized. 
And then this is the start the game button. So you click that and it will ask you to log in. You'll want to enter your user ID here and then type in the password that you made here. And then you can click this button if you want it to remember you by saving cookies in your browser. If you don't, you can uncheck it um, and then click log in. Okay, now you're logged into the site. It's kind of annoying how many little steps you have to go through, but um, you'll be back on the home page. And then when you're logged in, the sheep will change to yellow letters. And, uh, it says game start. That means you can play the game. And then click that button. And finally, the game will load. And um, your game will play in this little box here. There is a full screen option. But um, just click the middle button. And that'll start the game. Now, there will be a few steps you need to take once you start. Um, so let's go ahead and click this and then it will begin loading. This is a loading icon up there when you see that chicken dancing and it'll say now loading and stuff. Uh, the first time you play you'll see the success logo and you'll get this. This is the user agreement that you already agreed to earlier. You have to agree to it again. So then click it and you'll officially log in. You don't have to do that every time. This screen here asks you if you have a referral code. Um, if you have another friend that plays and you haven't started yet, ask them for your referral code if you want to use mine. It's this right here, 66LV9NN0, I don't know, I'll put it in the description. You can just copy and paste it directly into the game. If you don't have a referral code, you can click here, it's not required to enter. Um, so like if you don't want to use mine, you just want to play immediately, just click this button whether you've entered one or not. And then it will ask you to choose your beginning appearance. Um, this isn't choosing the gender of your character. Your character um, doesn't have a defined gender. Um, this is just how uh, your default appearance will be. Later in the game, if you click the return to default, it will either return to this one or this one. But you can change between all the different hairstyles and clothing and accessories, regardless of which one you choose here at the beginning. So I think this one is cuter, so I'm going to pick that. And then click the OK button, and then it will start out with a bit of story. Um, you just have to kind of click to continue. You'll be able to skip that um, normally. And it's just about you moving to this village. Um, all right, and it'll just tell you there's lots of stuff you can do. Click OK. And then it will start giving you tutorials. Whenever you see tutorials like this, you can click this X button right here to exit them. Um, if you understand Japanese, or maybe even just a little bit, and you want to read the tutorial or read parts of it, um, feel free to do that. Uh, if you do understand Japanese, it's a good idea to read the tutorials, because there are some things that can be a little confusing later. Um, otherwise, you can just click exit. And then, um, Pretty much the game plays out. You do a lot of quests. You don't have to do the quests once you finish the tutorials, but um, it's a good idea to do them because uh, it's pretty much what the game is about. Um, but you can just spend the time uh, making your farm however you like or whatever um, without doing quests, but you will have to do them in the beginning. And that's how to sign up for Shepherd's Crossing Online. I hope you enjoy the game. If you want to know how to play the game, I'll talk you through the tutorials and explain all of the game's functions in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, I hope to see you in the game. You can add me as a friend, and I'll teach you how to do that in the next game too. Um, you do have to refer each other, so um, if you want to add me as a friend, just uh, give me your friend code, um, and I'll add you as a friend too, and we can uh, take care of each other's farm. So have fun playing Shepherd's Crossing online, and thanks for watching! Metapod out!